Hi there, welcome to Hype Point of Cell. In this video, we'll be covering how to configure your Epson TM-T88V thermal receipt printer onto a Windows PC from here. Now this printer is highly reliable and an easy to use point of sale printer that prints out receipts. And this meets the strict Energy Star guidelines set by the European Commission. So this means this printer is not only better for your budget, but also better for the environment because it uses less energy. Now this printer is fully compatible with Hike, and we'll be showing you how to connect this using the LAN or Ethernet cable setup, as well as a USB connection from here. So here we have the Epson thermal receipt printer, and if we turn it to the side, we can see that there's model number information listed here. So in particular, this model is the TM-T88VI. And further from there, if we turn the printer over to the back, we can see here that there's multiple connections. So the main connections that we're after is obviously the power cable, which is over here. We also have an Ethernet or LAN cable, which is connected there. And then finally, just to the side here as well, there's also a USB connection for a direct USB connection to your device. So the next thing we want to do is to test that the Epson thermal receipt printer is printing correctly as well as to print out a diagnostic page to show some information about the networking to ensure that the Ethernet cable is connected correctly. Now for the purposes of this video, we will be assuming that you do have knowledge on how to connect up the printer over to a router and set up your network correctly for this thermal receipt printer. If you do require networking information, you will need to get in contact with an IT specialist who can set this up for you. And if you do have further questions about this, feel free to get in contact with our Hike support team otherwise. Now, the first thing we need to do is just to turn on the power to the receipt printer, which is at this button below. And after we've turned it on, you should see a light indicator at the top here, which indicates that the printer is turned on. And if we give it just a few seconds to start up properly, what we can then do from here is to turn the printer over to the back. And what you'll see here is that is there's a button at the bottom here. So this is a test button where if you press it down for a couple of seconds, the printer will print out a receipt and test that it's printing correctly as well as print out some diagnostic information. So if we press and hold down this button for a few seconds, you'll hear that the printer has now printed out some diagnostic information from there. So if we give it a few seconds to make sure it prints out all the information that you need. What we're looking for in particular is the TCP IP status information. So I'll get this to focus. And as you can see here, there'll be IP address information that we will highlight. Now this IP address information and subnet mask information is important, as we'll need to enter this later on when we install the printed drivers from there. So the next thing we'll want to do is to log into your Hike store. And from there, if you select the learn button on the top right of any of our pages, it will bring you to our support articles and support videos area. If we scroll down to the bottom, there's a button for visiting our support portal directly. So if we click this, this will go over to our Hike support portal. And if we search for our particular model, which is a TM-T88, what you'll see here is articles will come up or you can search from there. So if we select this particular article, it's going to bring you over to our support article for this particular printer. Now if we scroll down, it will go over these similar steps on how to set up the thermal receipt printer. And down near the top, you'll see here that there's an option for downloading your printer driver. So if we select this option again, it's going to bring us over to Epson's website, which we'll be able to find the Windows printer driver from there. So if we select the software option, as you'll see here, a list of printer drivers will come up. 
And if we select the download page, it's going to come over to the download page area. And if you scroll down, you'll need to read through the terms and conditions of downloading the software. And by selecting accept, you're able to click this button here, which will allow you to save the software to your hard drive. From there, what you'll need to do is open up the hard drive, open up your hard drive and then open up the software and we can run through the installation steps for you. Now the installation of the printer driver will take a couple of minutes, but once that's all completed, you should see a similar screen to this where you can start the printer registration from there, which will install the actual printer to your device. Now if this printer registration screen doesn't pop up, you can follow the support article instructions on finding a program that will be installed to your hard drive called printer reg and that will run the same printer registration installation from there. So if we select the next button, what you'll see here is it'll come up with a registration screen for the thermal receipt printer. And from here, we're installing a new printer and we're selecting the Epson receipt printer that the system has detected. From here, we need to set up the communication settings from here. So if you were to connect this printer via a USB port, you would select the USB option and the thermal receipt printer will set up automatically without further, without further adjustments that need to be made. For the LAN or Ethernet cable setup, we do need to select the Ethernet option from here. And we can leave the port as auto setup, but we do need to enter the IP address information that we got from the receipt previously. So if we enter this in, And select set to printer. Now it will double check that the Ethernet cable and the connection for this is working correctly. So if we select next there may be a prompt that will warn you about any firewall settings so if you do need to enable your firewall to allow some information to go through you will need to do that um, but that will be outside of the scope of this video so if we select OK we can see here that the printer should show up correctly and we can now go to the settings area. Now the next thing we need to do in the settings area is to enter in the subnet mask that was shown on the diagnostic receipt again. So if we enter that information in quickly, and we can also double check that the default gateway is as it was shown in the diagnostic receipt. So now that everything is correct, we can select the OK, and it will say here it'll take about 30 seconds for you to configure. Now we can skip through the administration login and just select OK. And what you'll see here is that the transmitting will now check to see if the receipt printer is working correctly. So once it's hit 100% and the configuration is done, what we next need to do is to simply save your settings. So if this is going to be the only printer connected to your device, you can set it as your default printer. Otherwise, you can select the printer manually as required. So by selecting the Save Settings option, it will come up with an option to see if you want to test your printer. So if we select Yes, we can see here that the printer will now print out a receipt that we can show you. Now that we've confirmed that the printer is connected, all we need to do is select Next. And then we can select Close. And now the printer has been set up for your device. So what we need to do from here is to open up a sales record or we can create a new one if required and select, oh, this will open it up. And if we select the print option, this will give you an option of printing out an existing receipt. Now what we need to do from here, this print preview is to select the destination. Now just be aware that with web browsers, depending on which web browser you're using, this print preview may vary, but on Google Chrome, this is what will show. And the destination we need to make sure is that we're printing to the Epson TM T88 VI receipt printer. Now from there, what we also need to do is to select the more settings and to make sure that the paper size is set to the roll paper, which is 80 by 297 millimeters and to make sure that the margins are set to none. From there, all we need to do is select the print option 
And we can show you here that a receipt has been printed. So that concludes how to print out and connect a thermal receipt printer from the Epson range from here. If you require further assistance still, you can go back to our learn area and refer to our relevant hike support videos and support articles. And if you still require further assistance, you can go over to our need help section on the top right here and select the chat with support option, which will connect you through to our 24 seven support team, or you can submit a ticket. Thank you for your time.